Hello, and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm Rakandit, and I'm about to play the beta for this game. Um, I've been looking forward to playing this for a very long time now. Uh, I have pre-ordered the game, but this is the first beta that I was actually invited to play. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go right ahead and start straight away with the character creation. Um, obviously, a very great part of any Elder Scrolls game, really. Well, it says there are three alliances for you to choose from, as well as the nine races. And I got the tenth because I have pre-ordered the game, so there's Mr. Imperial there. Very nice. Uh, I'm pretty happy with Orcs, to be honest with you. I, I really like the class playthrough in Orc, uh, as an Orc in Skyrim, and um, Oblivion as well. I really enjoyed playing as an orc. Um, class, the next part. Dragon Knight, I think I've already decided that I'm going to be that one just for the first time just because I don't have to worry too much about learning how to be a, a Templar or a Sorcerer and I'm not too fussed about being like stealthy at this moment. I kind of just want to play through and see as much as I can and if I have to be really, you know, loud and, you know, brash and everything that comes along with being a Dragon Knight, then so be it. Um, yeah, I'm really liking the way the game looks so far. I mean, I have got the settings up at Ultra, and I hope that shows on the video, but a um, cool little thing here that lets you choose, well, not choose, it lets you choose what you see in terms of armor sets already, so you can see what you look like at the beginning of the game, or with some novice gear, and then with some veteran gear later on, and you can go back and look at the same thing with all of the different races. Very cool very cool thing that they've implemented there. I really like that. As well as no gear as well for all of you, um... <coughs> yeah, uh, same with the, uh... Um, but never mind that. <laughs> Let's just keep moving on forward. I'm settled on Dragon Knight. Body. Here's the best thing about Elder Scrolls games, right? Well, not the best thing. The, uh, the most time-consuming thing it can be, I suppose. Body type? Oh, very cool. <laughs> Very cool. That's 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 really nice to see that they've actually allowed you to change uh, the actual body type rather than just facial kind of things. I mean, I think before you could just basically choose between muscular and thin in like Skyrim, but now you could have a large muscular person. Very cool. Um, because I'm gonna be. Uh, an orc race. I think I should be pretty, pretty big and pretty beefy and chunky. So, I think high muscle. I'd say about there. Maybe that chainmail looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Pretty badass. Uh, height. Um, orcs are huge, so I'm gonna be pretty huge, I guess. <laughs> Uh, skin color. Oh, look at those. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20 shades of grey. The um, two-fifths as good as the book. Not that I've read it. Ooh, I have no idea. I literally have no idea. I I so don't care. <laughs> no, I, I do, but I'm sure if I spent more time, I would. For some reason, I can't zoom. I don't know if I've done something wrong. I can rotate, but I can do that with the mouse anyway, but there's nothing I can do to zoom in. I don't know if that's broken, but who knows. Oh, you can change individual body pieces. Oh, that, that's a nice addition. That's a nice addition. I'm going to spend so much time doing this, but I don't really think it's going to make for a very interesting video. So what I'm probably going to do is foot size, really? Wow, I'm going to end up spending a lot of time on this. I'm not sure what the reasoning behind having a lock on this or not is. Like, why would I stop myself from doing it when I can just leave it alone anyway? Unless I'm missing something. I don't think I am. I'm a bit confused. Body marking? What? Oh. Oh, did that... Oh, how do I... Ew. Kinda. Just a little bit ew. Some pretty rad scars here. I'm guessing in the early stages you're probably going to start in jail or in prison as always. Um, but it's a good starting point. And uh, I think I'm going to go with that one. Just a couple of battle wounds. Ah, oh, very cool. That, that was good enough for me. Oh, I suppose now I can see what I actually would look like. 
Let's see what it looks like with a bit of a belly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. And then a thin little weedy arm. Actually, it looks still pretty, pretty. Still looks pretty cool. None of the textures are stretching. He seems to get darker body hair when you make him more muscular. <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know. Uh, where was I before? Yeah. Somewhere up near the top of these two, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's spend less time looking at this map. <laughs> Hand size, really? Wow, okay. <laughs> Let's just, um... Posterior. Can you really? Oh, you can give him the booty. Oh. Bethesda, you know exactly what you're working with. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm truly, truly amazed. Great. Um, let's just leave it at that. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, face type. Uh, I don't know. See, now would be a useful time to be able to zoom in, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I just want to see his beautiful face. But, oh, voice. No. Wow, you actually have a distinguishable voice in this game rather than just, you know, Fuzz Rodar or whatever, you know. <laughs> voice A is very creepy. <laughs> sounds sounds pretty good to me. Hairstyle. Oh. <laughs> that Adam Lambert haircut. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. You fabulous man. Uh, oh, it's... <sighs> the orcs always have such, like, badass haircuts. It's always mohawks and, like, ponytails. Or the dreadlocks. I mean, look at that for a haircut. I think, I think that's a winner. Mohawk. Cool with me. Oh, red hair. Very cool. Hmm, I think it would be pretty cool to get like a bright blue mohawk age. I'm guessing that adds wrinkles. Oh, it's head and neck, very cool. Let's just go with that. Adornment. Adornment? Oh my god, did you see that? <gasps> oh, that's very cool. And was that a... I'm... I'm... I'm pretty blown away at this, really. I know this is pretty standard stuff for like a kind of RPG game, but I'm still impressed. I'm still really impressed. I'm going to go with the uh, chin strap that I had at the beginning, I think. Yeah, that one. No, I'm not. I'm going to have nothing. Nothing. Nothing's going to hold me back. A head marking. I'm guessing this is some sort of tattoo. Yeah, all the paint, that kind of thing. What have we got? See, this this would be really nice if I could zoom in now, but it's not letting me. I'm going to put the uh, the tits away. <laughs> Sorry if that's disturbing anyone watching that. Raritus. Because that makes it sound kind of old and cool and stuff. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. The Whirling Prison. I guess that's where I'm starting, so I, I guess pretty well with the prison. But anyway, I'm very much looking forward to this. I've probably gone ahead and put a little skip to thing in this video so that uh, people that don't really want to watch the uh, intro stuff search this out. Okay, so I guess this is it. I'm in the game and uh, let's begin. Uh, I don't know how the sensitivity is going to be, but it looks pretty good so far. Mail received. Press not bound to open your social menu. I'm guessing not bound is supposed to be like alt or control or something. But uh, let's just ignore the mail for now. And uh, seems to be running pretty smooth. Someone's talking to me. It's a little bit weird. Sounds good. Area looks pretty detailed. What have we got here? Radish. Love me. Oh, I can't pick up the dishes. Oh, I can crouch. Well, hang on. I can. Oh, tap control to crouch. Oh, and they've still got the uh, the hidden system. Very cool. A uh, bottle, an empty bottle, 
you strafe pretty quickly. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty nippy. Uh, and scroll does still zoom out, and uh, I guess right that we would be in a prison garb kind of thing. Oh, all these dead people. I'm, ve I'm very, very, very quick. Bit of a scream when I jump. Oh, something's kicking off. Oh, what the? Hello, the prophet. Hello. So, you know, you've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. Goodbye. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titanborn. Lyris Titanborn. What? I... No, I, I asked you who it was. You there. Hello. We are escaping. Okay. Let me open your door. Thank you. That's it. Quickly. You must escape before the guards return. Everyone, quickly. Hold shift. Quickly. Spin. Follow Odyssey. Ew. Where did, where did he go? This way? I think this way. Hello. There are weapons in the forge beyond these cells. Arm yourself. I guess I'm escaping the prison right now. Very cool. This is much more dramatic than any of the uh, the other escapes. Environments are pretty nice. They're like the um, the caverns. I can't remember of it, any of the uh, the words. We have a lot of prisoners to arm. Uh, sword. Cast off iron sword. Take. I to open your inventory. Mouse over an item to see that item's properties. E to equip or unequip an item. Makes sense. Uh, equip. You have equipped a weapon. Light attack. Hold to execute a heavy attack. Hold, take a defensive posture and block incoming attacks. Approach and use left and right to interrupt enemies that are attempting to special attack. Cool. Uh, let's close, please. Oh, there we go. Oh. And I've got a sword. What are you going to do? Drink. What? Aged meat. Oh, I can just do take all. Take all. And. Bottle. Drink. Very uh, brief descriptions of things here. Bottle. Drink. Table. Item. I'm, I'm impressed at the detail to say it's, um, it's going to be such. Oh dear. <laughs> My guy does sound a bit like he's squeezing one out. <laughs> yeah, I know. El just urges Don't stop me. now. Keep moving. More guards are on the way. Like you, I am escaping this place. But since I have been here for some time, the tall one asked me to help the newer prisoners find their way. Those who are captured will be flayed. Sadly, that will not end their torment. Soul shriven cannot die. We the are the vestiges of people whose souls were stolen by the God of Schemes. I dare not utter his true name in this place. The soul shriven are doomed to slavery in Cold Harbor for eternity. Or at least until we are no longer useful. The longer we remain here, the less whole we remain. Oh. Our bodies waste away. God, I just noticed his appearance. Shrivels, and eventually our minds twist and lose any notion of reality. Looks like a Draugr. The oldest of the soul shriven are completely insane. We call them ferals. Ah, <laughs> ferals. <laughs> uh, smooth skin. <laughs> oh yes, the lesser Daedra actually fear them. 
Ferals have no fear of pain or death, because that is all they know. That and eternal hunger. They will attack and eat anything they can get their claws on. Even each other. Wow. You will. You are a new arrival, yes? The newly arrived have more free will, more fighting spirit. But that won't last. It never does. In time, uncounted years perhaps, you would much more. But there is no time. Okay, bye. Let's go. Come on. Let's let's get through this. Oh jeez, here we go. Strike it down. Oh man. Is he getting there? I don't know. Oh there we go. Come on. This guy is messing me up. Oh, there we go. Do not Fight the skeletal warrior. Coming up gold. Continue through the bleeding forge. This really is a bleeding forge. Oh my god, where am I going? Oh, I didn't want to hit him. Oh, you can shift to run. Is um, just wondering how you um, shoot your weapon, but I don't think it's working. Well, I don't know. I just noticed the um, the number four. The enemy blocks the path ahead. Dispatch the suffering. Come on, let me get it. Oh, I see. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, hello. Lyris Time. Oh, Lyris Timeborn. Hello. Level increase. Press C to open your character menu and increase your effectiveness. I'll do that. Spend available tri attribute points to increase your effectiveness in combat. Health increases your survivability. A GP increases your effectiveness as well. Stamina increases your effectiveness with defeats. Okay. I see. Uh, attribute. Oh, I see. Oh, so very similar to Skyrim then. Oh, so I've got my max, my spell damage, weapon damage. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with health for now. Oh, no, wait, hang on. My max stamina is. Oh, so my health is high, my standard. Uh, I'll put my stamina high then. No uh, title. Oh, I'm a citizen. Okay, let's commit the points. Very cool. There are many different ways to customize your kind of color style. Browse the effects of the lines. Okay. Ah. Alright. Pull toward pull target towards you and deal 14 fire damage. Uh, let's have a look. There's 18 physical damage if you just tag it down or whatever. Hmm. There is a lot to look into in this game. Um, I'm probably going to start... Oh, you can get medium armor. Very cool. Um, is there a light armor thing that I can get? No. Orc skills. Increases experience gain with heavy armor skill land by 50%. Oh, these are just passive ones that I already have. Okay. Oh, you can do blacksmithing in this game. Very cool. Oh, I guess this is just viewing. Right, let's just get a um Let's get the fiery grip. Yep, press one to use this ability. Some abilities require a valid target. That makes sense. Alright. So Oh no, not out. Uh one. I can't do it to her. <laughs> let's talk to uh Lyris. Hello! You've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards, and I see you've armed yourself. Good. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. What? Who told you to find me? The Prophet. He spoke to you? Ha. That sounds like the Prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. The, uh, was the quality very of these characters are pretty decent to say this moment. is going to be such a, you, you know, must think you can help huge me. game. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. Uh, I can still hear this voice in my head. What does he want me to help you Break do? him out, of course. 
Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. Yeah, really that blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. I'll help you. Oh my god, I thought she was going to kill me. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh no. Oh, how do I... Oh, crouch. <laughs> Come on. Oh, she's following me. Okay, I've got to follow her. Yay. Yeah, how do I... How do I put my sword away? Oh, Zed. Okay, that's cool. Just for the sake of RP. Doors are pretty cool. I'm liking the doors so far. We made it. Yeah, we did. Top virus. Come. The sentinels are at the top of those towers. Magical constructs created by Molag oh, Bal to guide Bal. his vision in Cold Harbor. The sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Right, come on, let's do this. I'm ready for some sentinel savagery. M to open your map. Okay, so this is where I am, and we've got destroyer, coal harbor sentinel. Oh, so I've got a choice, so I can either go to the left now, head up here, or I can go down here. I think I'm going to go for this one, just because... Just that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, right, okay, let's go left. Oh. Up there. Oh, look, it's more like, wow, very cool. Uh, oh, hello. Oh god. You are not friendly. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, hello. Are you... Are you real? Obviously this is an uh, MMO, so... Hello? Hold F to interact. Add as friend, report. Ah, oh, these are real people. Very cool. I don't have any clothes on. Are you... I'm just gonna take your snake slime. What is that noise? Right, you know what? I'm gonna. Can I trade? Can we get... Oh my god, come in, come in. Oh, I saved your life. Iron Greaves. Oh, how do I bring up my. Um... God! Flame I I can knock off, how do you? It's not C, it's uh, I. I is inventory. Mm -hmm. You have found a quick slot item. Uh, potions and that kind of thing. Uh, let's equip these iron greaves. Equip. Oh, very cool. Right, let's just. Uh, oh, oh. oh, God, look out! Get him! Get him! Get him. She's very tall. Uh, right, let's just get a move on. Um, let's head up. Oh my god. Come here. A little bit of lag there. Come on, Lyris. Yeah. Finish off with a power attack. Very cool. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Don't really like all of this screaming. That flame matronac. I'm gonna leave it alone. Right, so I'm heading up here to get to the next part of the start of the game. Are you alright? No? I don't think you're very well. Uh, oh, so up in the top right we've got Destroy a Cold Harbor Sentinel. Are you. Yarl Ball in Swag Bark? <laughs> <gasps> wow, I saw him and I thought, oh, that's an NPC. And I saw the name, I was like, oh, Yal <laughs> Oh, I hope we um I hope we meet again, Malgruff. Because that is absolutely oh god, that's scary. Kinda. Right, can I just are these guys gonna get me or do I just need to uh <laughs> press E to destroy? Else? Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the prophet's Hang cell. On, there's a chest there. 
Come on, priorities. Get it, get it organised. Right, where are we going? You alright? Oh god, no. Oh, these power attacks are very, very cool. Right, let's get a move on. Oh, I need to do my uh, power... Um, Flame attack. Uh, reach the pocket cell. Right, where is it? Alright, oh, here we go. Oh. Let's get a move on. Oh god. Oh, let's mess this guy up. Come on. Oh, oh, so I guess it's like a um, some sort of chain attack. I bring them to me and I can attack them like that. Very cool. Uh, ooh, an ice staff. Very cool. I look forward to selling it. <laughs> Oh, I guess I can almost, well, that kind of makes sense that I can almost take loot off the thing I helped to kill. Well played, friend. Dark Haze Beard, you are good in a fight. Obvious. Oh my god, look at him. There's a lot of Atronax just chewing. Very cool. Um, right, I'm going this way. Let's get a move on. I seem to be losing health quite a lot, but it does seem to go back up very quickly. I don't know if it's something... Oh my god. <laughs> Sw swag boy over there. Um, it seems to re regenerate pretty quickly. So that's good news. And top to Iris. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Okay. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find uh, another way in. Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Okay. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. Let's find him. Come on, let's go. I think I'm gonna find... Oh, are you coming with me? Yeah, okay. Oh god, what's going on down here? I don't think I can jump this thing. Oh, I can. Oh, I lost health for doing that. Oh, sorry. I thought you were. Uh... One <laughs> Look at this guy. Night, two dead kings got up this is very, back to back very Elder Scrolls. Drew their bows Excellent. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for Now it. that voice is very, very familiar. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasts. Rather cautiously, I expect. <laughs> Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running Let's and go. follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Uh, bye. Can I have your bananas? Very weird, man. Oh, God, come on, let's get started. Look at all this gold we're getting. Oh, look at the uh, environments are very, very cool. I am enjoying playing in first person, but um, you know, most games like this are obviously played in, um, in third person, usually a lot further away from the character than this, so it's, it is quite refreshing to play something like this. How can you be attacking me? <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> Not completely messed up there, mate. Too bad. Um, <laughs> where am I going? Uh, this is enter the undercraft, but I, I, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm gonna shift and sprint. And he said, go to the river. Just like you're getting in. Come here. I'm gonna go on the map. 
Ah, oh, down there. So straight forward. Follow the river. Who's this? Lemmy Pie. Of the snarky comments, eh? Oh, what? Oh, God, was I being attacked the whole time? Wait. Well, yeah, My health is really, really low. Kill a few more of these guys. Oh, level up. Right, okay. What is it? Let's see? I have an attribute point. Okay, I'm gonna put up. Uh, I'm gonna put up my health because I keep getting hurt, basically. <laughs> uh, draconic powers. Swipe the armor. Increase armor by 75 for 17 seconds and return 5 physical damage to melee attack as well. Um, what else can I get? Deals 18 physical damage and knocks down enemy for 3 seconds. Stone Fist. That sounds cool. Instant 10 meters, 60 damage per. And. Arbor Pet. <laughs> Whatever floats you don't need. Um, I'm going to use my new attack on this guy. Oh, very cool. Oh, it does not come down. Oh, that's very effective. Very effective indeed. Let's keep going. Here around this corner. Yeah, the environments are very pretty. Oh. Hello? Marcus Ragnos. Hello? Ah, we're going in here to the Undercroft. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter here. And I'm going to leave this video here. I think that would be a very good. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> this little short guy with no feet. Um, I'm going to leave this video here because I've played a lot of the game so far well, a lot of time on the game so far, and uh, I think it would be a good stopping point, so thank you very much for watching, if you're interested in seeing me play some more Elder Scrolls, I'll be bringing out these videos as I play through the game really, and um, not just for this beta, but for when the game comes out eventually, on uh, the 4th of the 4th, I will be playing it then, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more, and uh, thank you very much, goodbye.